Hi, I'm Kate from Beautiful Light Home. Today, I wanted to focus on my bees. And what I'm really focusing on today is how can I get my bees to get up to my honey super? So uh, as you know, I have a flow hive. So if you're looking at these two boxes here, these are very comparable to the Langstroth hives, which are like the most widely used types of hives in the United States. Um, the only thing that's different with mine is that my honey super, which is the box that goes on top of these two brood boxes here, it's the box where we collect our honey to harvest. Um, that box is slightly different. So um, you can check out my other video on the differences between the flow hive and Langstroth hives and why I chose the flow hive. Um, but for me, I've been having an issue. I put my honey super on about three weeks ago and I just can't get the bees to go up into my honey super. Um, they're really just hanging out in their brood boxes. They're not really attracted to the flow hive. Um, my guess is because it's plastic frames. It's a pretty common practice. Even Langstroth hives, even these two boxes have plastic frames in them, but they were coated with beeswax. Whereas I did not coat my flow hive frames with beeswax. So I suspect that to be the issue, not 100% positive. I've done my research and it seems like other people have had this issue as well. So that's what I'm working on today. I am going to coat my flow hive frames with beeswax so that this way, once I put my honey super back on here, hopefully the bees will be attracted to it enough to want to go up, build out their honeycomb and start filling it with honey. And maybe we can have a harvest this year. It'd be amazing. Um, the other reason why I want to put a honey super on here, yes, it would be lovely to have honey. They are running out of room in these two bottom boxes, which the reason why that's an issue is that then they're more prone to swarm, um, which you can see in other video. I'll do another video on swarming another time, but um, I, I want to try to give them as much room in here as possible. So if I add the honey super, they have plenty of room, plenty more work to be done, and hopefully it'll discourage them from wanting to swarm anytime soon. So um, next up, I'll show you what my supplies are and how easy it is to coat my flow hive frames with beeswax and how easy it can be for you too. Okay, so um, my bees, I put my honey super on, my flow hive honey super on to uh, potentially one day harvest my own honey. Um, I put this, um, my honey super on about three weeks ago and the bees have done nothing with it. So my concern is it's because it's plastic and bees aren't really the fondest of plastic. But if you coat it with beeswax, then they have a, um, a higher potential and a higher success rate of, of building out their comb and filling it with honey. So in order to do this, I'm trying to attract those bees into the flow hive. In order to do that, um, what I'm working on today is coating it. So what you'll need is your flow hive frames. Now I've done four of them already and I have three left to go. So here's one. Um, make sure they're all intact and ready to go. This is, I believe it's a half pound block of beeswax that I got from my local um, beekeeping supplier. Um, I think they have local beekeeping suppliers throughout the country, so I would just check locally, but uh, I went and picked this up a couple weeks ago knowing I would have to do this. I also ran to Michael's, the craft store, and I got, these are 99 cents, I got two of these two inch um, paint brushes. Uh, I tried to get them as cheap as possible because the quality just doesn't hold up after you've dipped it in beeswax. Now here's how I am melting my beeswax. I have, you need either a dedicated double broiler of some sort or a dedicated crock pot. I'm actually using this very tiny, it's called the crock pot little dipper. It came with my crock, my big crock pot um, many years ago, like 10 years ago, I guess at this point and I've never used it. So I figured why not use it for beeswax? It's been sitting there, might as well use it. So this has been um, sitting here for the past couple hours melting the beeswax and it did a great job with it. And now I'm going to take, here's my brush right here. I'm gonna take my brush. You can see that it's already, that some of the beeswax has kind of coated it. It does make it stiff, 
But what I found is that if you put this in the, the hot crock pot long enough, the bristles really start to loosen up because that's all it needs is some heat to loosen it up. So you should be fine. You can reuse these from what I've found so far. So let's take a look at how I do this. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. I'm taking my flow hive, keeping it on an upright angle. I have my, um, my beautiful paintbrush over here. Like I said, if I just put this in the beeswax for a few seconds, it does start to loosen up. And then I just, I dip it and I start, just take the excess and then I'm going up and down on this. A little bit more, going up and down. Up and down, dip, drip the excess, go up and down. Dip, drip the excess, go up and down. And I just do this all across the entire flow hive frame. So really, I mean, per frame, it only takes a few minutes to do. It's really not that bad. And it dries really quickly. I, I can see some of the areas where it's missing some. So I just kind of go back and hit some of those areas. And this little crock pot that I'm using, I'm just gonna keep beeswax in there. I end up doing bees, uh, beeswax crafts with my kids. In the fall, we do this really fun thing where we go and get um, freshly fallen, beautifully colored leaves, like all the reds and oranges, and then we dip them in beeswax. And I had a different method of doing that before, but this little crock pot will probably do just a trick. Can even plug it in in the fall right before we go outside to gather our leaves. Okay, so in all that time, this is already, this whole entire side is already done. So I'm gonna flip this around and do the other side. And just up and down. Now I will warn you, beeswax will get most likely on your countertop, so have a plan of how you are going to get it off your countertop. I'll show you what I use. Um, there's some way to lightly heat it. I'm not saying set it on fire, but heat definitely um, melts it a bit. But I have a little scraper that I use. Honestly, you could probably use an old credit card. If you have like an old credit card or an old gift card, that would probably work just fine. Now that I'm thinking of it, my arm's probably been in this shot the whole time. See, so just up and down. There we go. All done. See? So that's it. So today, all I worked on was just coating all of my Flow High frames. I have seven frames. I've coated them all with beeswax in the hopes that the bees will start migrating up from their brood boxes into my flow hive honey super to start filling this with honey and maybe we can get a honey harvest this year which would be amazing um so thanks for joining me on beautiful light home and i hope to see you soon